So let me say again, this is not a spectator sport for a class. This is a class in which everybody needs to have their Nikes on, laced up, and come to class ready to play and um, not to watch. At the bottom of page three and through page four, I have our study uh, case study guideline. We'll spend some time in class going over that, but that lays out the parameters of what I expect um, for your case study. Um, bottom of page four, uh, everybody has to have email. I guess I don't need to put that in there anymore. The university gives you uh, an email account, and you already know about that. Uh, I will be, as I already have, and in the future I will be communicating with you via email, so it's important that obviously you have it. Classroom courtesies, I've talked a little bit about this, but I want you to read very carefully what's at the bottom of page four, the top of page five. Um, we're going to conduct all of our classes with um, in an environment of civility and mutual respect. Cell phones, pagers, blackberries, PDAs are to be turned not merely to vibrate, but they are to be turned off. That is a fundamental courtesy uh, that uh, I require. I am coming to class prepared and ready to utilize that time for what it is that we have to do. I have the very same expectation of you. No multitasking allowed in the classroom. We're going to be involved in a single task, um, and that's uh, the material uh, in this classroom. Last point I want to make uh, on page five. I have a paragraph about academic integrity. I shouldn't have, have to have that paragraph, but unfortunately I've had some unpleasant experiences um, that have required that that be put in. Um, understand what plagiarism is. Plagiarism is a fancy word for what? Theft. One who plagiarizes steals somebody else's intellectual property. When are you plagiarizing? You are plagiarizing when you take somebody else's words, put them in your paper as if they're your words. These can be verbatim words, which often happens. Somebody literally highlights, cuts, and pastes, and drops somebody's identical words into their paper as if they were theirs. Um, that's the most egregious circumstance. Or if you take somebody's concept or somebody's idea or somebody's notion that you hadn't thought of before but because you read an article you now included that idea, that's plagiarism as well even though you didn't use their wor words um, verbatim. If somebody's got has said it better than it can ever be said, that's great. Put it in a block quotation, give it a footnote, and give the person credit for their ideas. But if you don't do that, you're stealing their ideas. Um, I've unfortunately had a very bad experience with plagiarism. Uh, very ironic that somebody should lift somebody else's words and put, claim them as their own in, of all places, an ethics class. And I will tell you that you should be familiar with the university's code of conduct uh, in which instances of plagiarism can be dealt with very harshly. I will tell you you'll get an F in the course, uh, and I will recommend to the university that the various processes begin that could result in um, expulsion from the school and in an extreme case uh, a notation on your permanent transcript and that's not something you want to happen. Now I don't want to end 
even this video discussion on a negative tone. Uh, I'm going to tell you that I think the study of ethics uh, is a fascinating study. And um, the biggest praise that I've ever gotten in talking to students and former students is it was a little bit difficult, particularly at first, but you actually gave me um, ways in which I could think differently about what was going on at work and actually give me some insight for solving problems um, that I had at work. And if we get uh, to that level, then um, clearly we've accomplished something. The last part of the syllabus is our schedule. And uh, you, if you look at the schedule, chapters 1 and 2 are due on September the 5th. And chapters 3 and 4 are due on September 12th, meaning is my expectation that you will have already read and be, for, be ready to discuss the first four chapters in the book when we get together on the 12th? Yes. Yes. Please have read the first four chapters, and that's how we will begin our discussion um, on the 12th. Even though I'm going to be out of the country, I'm going to be in Berlin, one of my favorite cities in the world. Um, I will be in email contact, uh, and if you really, really need to talk to me, you can call my office. I, I have a Skype account, uh, and I'll be in um, uh, verbal communication, but I'll be checking my email. Uh, so if you have any questions about anything that I've said here, um, feel free to ask me those questions. Also, I would encourage you to use the discussion board in Blackboard. If you have a question, then chances are your classmates may have the very same question. And so if we use it in the discussion board in Blackboard, then we will um, give everybody uh, the benefit of, of the answer to that question. Um, I'm looking forward to this. This is a challenging course. Somebody told me once that they thought, oh, the ethics course, that's one of those blow-off courses. Uh, no. <laughs> I, if you think that, um, get rid of that thought right now. H having said that, um, I think something can be both challenging and enjoyable, and that's my intent uh, for how we're going to present this material this semester. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person uh, and looking forward to spending the semester um, engaged in some good um, ethical analysis. Till then, I hope everyone has a great Labor Day holiday weekend, and I will see you on Saturday morning the 12th. Thanks.